We greet you all saints in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We want to believe that the Lord has kept you safe. And that you are doing well by His grace. We like to welcome you to the broadcast today. As we will be sharing from the word of the Lord. Just to get a courage from the Lord. And strength to overcome in this hour. So without much waste of time. We are going to go into our service. Before we read the scriptures, I'm going to ask my brother to lead us in prayer. Jesus. We pray, Heavenly Father, inviting the presence of the Holy Spirit this morning that you come, O oh Lord, and minister unto us and minister to our hearts, O oh Lord, that we may be able to receive and understand your word in its entirety. We bless, O oh Lord, the, the ministering brother this morning. May you, O oh Lord, cover him with the Holy Spirit that your word may come forth in a way that you want it to be. We bless this day and commit it to your hands for your honor and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. So we're going to uh, read from our Bibles in the book of Matthew chapter 13 uh, from verse 36 uh, to verse 43 and that's where Jesus was explaining the parable of the wheat and the tears. Amen. Amen. So me and my brother will read a, a verse as we interchange. You read that one verse. Kau kau kawat kau kau kawalan. Amen. Verse thirty-six. Then Jesus sent the multitude away and went into the house, and his disciples came unto him, saying, "Declare unto us the parable of the tares of the field." Biale Jesu alala na le mashaba abatu ay ay ay. Barutua Bahaway Batawe and Nabari, Retla to Lele's son to some of Mifuka Chimo. He answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the son of man. Jesu Afetula Are, Mubiadi Wapu Kimoramutu. The field is the world, the good seed are the children of the kingdom, but the tares are the children of the wicked one. Chimo Kelefasi, Bo Ebu Tik, Banaba Musho, Amagodimo. The enemy that sow, soweth them is, is the devil, the harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers are the angels. And therefore the tares are gathered and burnt in the fire, so shall it be at the end of this world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do iniquity. And shall cast them into a furnace of fire, there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Amen. 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 
Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father, who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Kimo baba lukilo goba tlogo tsa ga bya le ka letjatsi ba le mmushong wa tatabo ya na go le ditsebe tsa go kwa agwe God bless you muri mal so fatshe so we would like to take our text from the scripture we've read ya le rata o tsa tsimana thero ya rena go tswa mo le ngwalo le re le ba dileng and our title will be the harvest ya le se tlo go sa rena e tla ba uno so we will take it in portions re tla e tsa ka dikarolwana depend on how far the lord will lead us into the subject we are lord na mo dimo re le tlelela go ya ka e motherong amen amen so we understand from what we've read ya le re kwisha go re mo o tswa mo se re se ba dileng the harvest or puno is the end of the world ke bofelo ya le ya mabaka now we know that harvest means the collection of the the matured seeds ya le re tseba gore puno ke go khoboka go khoboka jwa ga peo ye e godile from the field o jwa go machimo now uh, so the end of the world ya le bofelo ya le fase Uh, speaks of uh, the reaping of a seed now if the end of the world is uh, it, it, it's the harvest time then the beginning of the world will be the planting of the seed Now when we read in scripture we find that our beginning is in the book of Genesis the very first verse that you read in Genesis 1 it says in the beginning that was the plant, the planting season Amen. Amen. Now in the book of Genesis, that's where we find a, an account uh, of how things began. How our creation, our our world was formed. The beginning of the earth. The beginning of the visible universe as we know it. The moon, the stars, the sun. And then coming down to planet Earth. We see how God began. Uh, life forms on Earth. Uh, the life of plants. Uh, the life of uh, marine marine life eh go phelo ya dihlapi eh bed life eh le go phelo ya dinonyane and human life le go phelo ya ba so that was the beginning so e be le mathomo now when we hear of the end ya le gere kwa ka bofelo we know that the the end re a tseba gore bofelo is the end of what began ke bofelo ya se se leng sa tho in the book of genesis se se thomile mo bokeng ya genesis amen amen now we 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 understand from the book of matthew re a kwishisha gore go tswa mo bokeng ya matheu that just Out, out, be outside of just the natural seeds as we know them plants and everything man is also a seed for the bible says yeah, the good seed that was planted in the parable is the children of the kingdom so, so when we talking about the harvest we are we are focusing on the harvest uh, of the human seed that's where our interest is today so from the, what we've read we are made to understand that we as humans today we are a continuation Of what, of what started in the book of Genesis. Our behavior arena is a continuation so there's no one who's doing things just because they feel like they do they want to do this we are a lineage of something we are a kind of something for in the in the beginning god said let every seed bring forth of its own kind so when we check in scripture we can find a kind of everyone 
Whether people are in the church, whether they are not in the church, when we go to the beginning, we should find our kind. Amen. Amen. So we have to believe that we are the continuation of what was started in the Bible. So we are not living outside of the Bible. When God speaks of the end of the world, it is the same world that we read about in the Bible. The, the same one that we live on. The same planet Earth that we are on today. The Bible says in the book of Genesis 1, and the earth was void and was without form and there was darkness and the, uh, upon the face of the deep it is the same planet where Adam was the same planet where, where Abraham was that is why when you go into a, a, a Archaeologists, uh, you will find places, you will still find a place which is marked as the Red Sea Crossing. Because when the children of Israel left Egypt uh, to the land of promise, they crossed the sea, the Red Sea. That is the same Red Sea that we have today. The, the river Euphrates that we find in the Bible is the same river that we have today. Amen. 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 So we want to look at so it means for us to know what is to expect at the harvest. We need we, we have to look at the beginning to see what kind of crop. Yeah, that will be harvested in the in the, oh, in, the in, in the last days. So everything that we have today, so whether it be technology, technology, whether it be lifestyles, whether it be religion, human behavior, my asset head. He had to have a beginning at some point. Amen. Amen. So as as Christians, we want to look at our kind and identify our place in the end time to see what God speaks of us in the end time. And when we go back to to the book of Genesis, we find the first two, uh, the first two people, uh, Adam and Eve, Adam and Eva, uh, they from, from the two, the whole earth was populated. Amen. Amen. So, God said multiply. So, we are an offspring. Of Adam, every human being that's on earth is an offspring of Adam. But when you, when you look at us today, you find so many types of people, many types of religions, many types of conduct and behavior. So we will have to go back to the beginning to understand who we are, who is our kind, and what God said about this kind. So what we see today, we see a matured seed uh, of what was planted in the beginning. And maybe I will start in the book of Genesis chapter 4. When, when the first two started multiplying Amen, Amen. Uh, And the Bible reads as follows And Adam knew his wife uh, uh, Genesis chapter 4 verse 1 And Adam knew his wife He knew Eve his wife And she conceived and bare Cain 
and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. Yare Adama Aria Tibile Efamo Sadio Arawe, Aima Abele Rakaine Are, Kiboni Muna Kamoren. And she again <coughs> bare his brother Abel, and Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. Abela Abele Abele Manabo Abele Abamudishi Wadukuswani Kaine Abamulimi Wamashin. And in the process of time it came to pass that Cain brought forth forth of the fruit of the ground and offering unto the Lord. And Abel he also brought of the firstling of his flock and of the, the and, and of the fed thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering he had no respect, and Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. If thou do okay. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth, and why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted. And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule, o thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. Amen. So we know in the book of Genesis. That uh, the serpent came into the garden and it deceived the woman. And from there, the woman uh, conceived. We will come to that. Maybe they will read a verse later on that. Now, when the first time men wanted to worship, after they were cast out of the garden because of the sin they committed we find two people both of them having a desire to worship God what are we doing we are worshippers today we have got many churches each one has got their own doctrine and it can't just start out of nowhere. There must be a beginning. And since we are in the end of time, we have to know what crop, what seed are we. So there must be a kind of how we worship. And it all starts in the book of Genesis. So we find two boys coming to worship on the same altar. And each one offered a sacrifice unto the Lord. And when they offered their sacrifices, God received, accepted the, 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 the sacrifice of one. And he rejected the other offering. And that was the offering of Cain. So from, from the very beginning, we find two forms of worship that come before the altar with a desire to serve God. 
But then we find one offering was, a, was accepted by God and the other was rejected. And hence today we can see all different forms of worship. And, and out of all these types of worship, we are just a matured form of what was planted in the garden of but remember we are not talking about a natural seed we are talking about a spiritual seed the natural seeds remember a man is spirit man in the Genesis chapter 1 Man was spirit first Before he became flesh In the book of Genesis chapter 2 So when we talk about the human seed We are not talking about the looks we are not talking about the form of a man what a person looks like that's not how you identify the two seeds as we read about in the book of Matthew chapter 13 these are spiritual seeds amen amen so and then every seed will bring forth of its own kind. Now, the Bible says, Then God came down and spoke to Cain and told him, This is not how I'm supposed to be worshipped. If you can do like your brother, then I will accept you. Right there, we find that there is a form the two seeds of worship that started in the garden and those seeds started from there and they, they've grown, they've matured until they become what we are today so all worshippers are worshippers come from either one of these two seeds but now we have come to the harvest so something that was in its infancy in the garden in the book of Genesis it has now come to maturity and as much as God accepted one form of worship which was offered by a certain type of seed Jesus Christ talked about the separation when it comes to the end time so we want to look at this form of worship so there is a way in which men can worship and they are happy with the way they worship but that is not what God is going to accept we find a man came very religious he wanted to worship God the same God that was worshipped by Abel he brought the sacrifice to the same God but he wanted to do it his own way and God being God the only way that he had to rebuke that man to correct that man uh, was by his weight he sent his weight and Cain when he heard that weight that correction that told him that the way you worship is not it's not how I'm supposed to be worshipping. God did not say Cain did not have a desire. God did not say uh, Cain did not build an altar. But what he offered on that altar is what God did not want. And if it started as a seed back then, 
it has to mature so the contents of king fell he was not willing he was not happy to be corrected by the weight of god <coughs> and if by just rejecting that 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 correction there he knew already that, that god was not going to accept him so what did he do the bible says he talked to his brother uh, and he took him out to the field and there he killed him so he enticed him so we see a spirit in worship that is dedicated hard working who want to serve God yet not in a way that God wants and should they find somebody that God has accepted they start hatred then they plan they, they entice they, the, 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 the man came, uh, came up with a plan to entice that brother or to kill him or amalai. Now that spirit such a day of a man that wanted to worship God not in a way that God wanted to worship God and if there was another one who was there to worship God in the right way the next move is to make a plan around how to, to, to find this man this, this true worshiper to kill him or maybe I can go ahead of myself and show you that that's the same spirit that was in the priests in the time, in the time of Jesus when Jesus came on the scene, he, 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 he went out to pray. They were praying in the temple. But then God honored the, the prayer of Jesus, where he confirmed him. The Bible says a man that was a, 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 a vindicated by God with signs and wonders to prove that he accepted what Jesus was doing and when the priest saw that and Jesus rebuked them with the weight they couldn't take that correction so those men when they identified a man that was accepted by God they came up with a way of catching him and killing him and it has not stopped and i see he yeah. killed him by the then when you read your history history you find that uh, there was a, there's a time called the dark ages where the true christians were, were, were persecuted we can see the two spirits that started back in the garden back in the book of Genesis they started that way and then right in the end time we know the two spirits Jesus Christ in the book of said in the book of Matthew 24 these two spirits will be so close to one another in the in the family of Adam, more uh, family Adam, the two spirits uh, that worship, who were a bra two brothers, children of the same mother. Of course, they were not of the same father. As Jesus, uh, said to the, the to the priest, you are of your own father so we talk about the two genes 
dikukwana che che pedi cha uh, mfelo at, at the end time mo mafelo long ana amen amen so after and what, because the, that man uh, was a kind yale kaba kalor munna yo ibele wa mufuta what the bible calls the antichrist eh se bibili is bichang molale christ many people think but fa banchi bana kana go the antichrist molale christ is somebody ki mutho mo who's against uh, who is against church wo ya le ngahlalo le greek that is not so awu joane if you look from the beginning the antichrist spirit comes to church comes to the altar and calls the name of the same god and if that spirit realizes that god is not responding and it's god is responding to someone else that spirit forms ways of catching the, the the loved one of god to kill them amen amen right we see there's a spirit of a murderer when you read in the book of uh, let's read in the book of john john chapter 8 john chapter 8 So any spirit today yale moyo mongolo mwe le kono that will not take correction wo sa khone ngwe ya phoshollo of the weight yale ntju and it resorts to killing and ya ya ikemisha ta bolai is the spirit of Cain ki moyo wa Cain the same spirit that was in the priests moyo wo swana ngwe bo le mo ba routine so today when people want to know where the antichrist is ya le le kono ga ba tswara ta tswara antichrist moyo wa bo antichrist o kokai they shouldn't look outside of the church system aba tswana la go lebella ka ntle ka tshibidi sho ya dikarek If you read your history, you will know what I say that the Christians were persecuted or ba Christ ba ile ba tlaishwa. Even in the book of Acts, le mo book ya ditiro, Paul says, Paul no ore, eh he 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 was the one he kiena before he was converted, bila a a sokologa. He he is the one who went to arrest uh, 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 those that believed in Christ yeah na abeng a ya a swara ba 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 ndimela mo Christ if you want to know who got Christ killed sorry who who got Christ to be killed or 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 who got Christ to be killed it was not the soldiers he may say much only no Christ was handed to over to the soldiers he Christ will be killed mo ga ya shole by the priests kibarut so we see that the spirit that was in Cain with with time lena ko respela grew will wa hola to become a religious organization wa tla mo kholo ya wa mkhatlo wa grey in the beginning ko matshomo it was in Cain o go le ka mo kain but in the time of Jesus mo maramona ko ya Jesus that spirit mo ya o that seed pe o ye o had grew to become a religious sect ya go la official la e ba a sect ya 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 ba rapid and it if it moved from one seed ke re to ri le mo pe e ti e le kain to become a religious sect today o official la e ba mo khatlo wa greke i mean sect in the time of Jesus e o ba le mo khatlo wa greke kana kwa Jesus then if we want to know where that spirit went to we must look in the religious organizations today a spirit that will not take correction but still wants to save the serve, serve the same god who, who already as said he doesn't want to accept it so it's the worshiper ke uh, ke morapedi a matter ke malai a seat of the evil one ke pe ya yo mubi let's read in the book of john arwa le mubi ke ya johani amen amen 
We read in the book of John chapter 8 I'm just introducing a thought So you can see the line of thinking As we are starting our subject of the harvest So it moved from a spirit one man To become an organization So an organization Is a spirit that has formed itself that has divided itself into men that have got the common thinking Amen so that's written in the book of John then uh, we'll just go back now that we have uh, maybe shown you the line of thinking so that we identify so our behavior today has got its beginning somewhere our attitude to Christ our attitude toward the way today you hear when people are corrected with the word of God he said no 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 I won't take that but no 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 I will go and ask God myself you can already see the nature of the spirit where it come from when Judas was rebuked Judas he wanted to take the correction he continued on instead is that he wanted to he wanted to sell the Lord? Amen. Amen. Now John chapter eight. Uh, and I'm going to read from verse twenty-nine. Uh, uh, and it reads as follows. And he sent and he that sent me is with me and the father that the father has not left me alone for i do always those things that please him as he spake these words many believed on him then said jesus to those jews which believed on him if you continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. That's one. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall, say, shall make you free. They answered him, We be Abraham's seed, and we never we, and were never in bondage to any man. How says thou ye shall be made free? Buffet Lavare, Renarvanava Abrahama, Araisho, Rababa Shanga, Bamotlining, Obela Yang, or a little local. Jesus answered them, Very, verily I say unto you, Whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. Jesu, a fetula are, Ruri, Ruri, Kalebucha, Mangle Mangia de la Rosivi, Kimotanga was on a sevi. The servant abideth not in the house forever, but the servant, the son abideth forever. Motanga Romea Agasi Duden Tong Boyawile, Wabula Boyawile Kemura. If the son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Kirona Remora and Lokola Kimo Little Rolokola Lokulu, sorry. Kirona Remora and Lokola Kimo Little Roba. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me because my my weight has no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. Na kibrela se kisibone ro otati mele na. Amen. Amen. So again, we are happy. We we see that the, this spirit, the spirit of the devil, Moyawa Satan. Maybe we, let's read quickly. Let's read a verse verse forty four. Same chapter. 
Ye are of your father the devil, and the last of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Amen. Tata we ni yo ni chao owe yena ki diaboru. Mene perele la kudira midro ya yena tata we ni eo. Ki yena sinukwa ni otoka machomong. Obani yo moko yena cherisho a eo. Ria bolela maka obolela chagawe. Obani ki yena muakechi le rago muakechi. Amen. Amen. So Jesus... When, 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 when he looked at this priest, as religious as they were, they had something that was there in the beginning. And he says to them, if you, I can see that outwardly you are the seed of Abraham, you are Israel. Amen. Amen. But I see something in you. Why do you want to kill me? Because it's because you, my word has no place in you. Just like Cain, when the word of God rebuked him, there was no place to receive that correction. Then he resorted to killing Abel. Amen. Amen. And Jesus says, you are of your father the devil for he is the murderer from the beginning so when we go back to the book of Genesis in the book of beginnings the first murderer the first murderer we find is the serpent he is the one who brought death to, to Adam and Eve and then from there we find Cain and Jesus says you are of your father so, so the spirit of the devil is not afraid of church the, the spirit of the devil is not afraid of church positions we, we, we have men here that are priests that have got nothing to do with heaven so today people get confused by titles pastor so and so apostle so and so but if you check your bible it's not about the title Jesus Christ could see a devil right under that title you could see that spirit of murder right under that title you could see that spirit of murder right under that title and he told them, You are a liar. Just like the devil is the father of liars. He is the liar himself. And he is the father of all of them that lie. Now we know that in the time of Jehoshaphat. Uh, when they were supposed to go uh, uh, that man Ahab wanted to go to battle there was a lying spirit the spirit of the devil that came down and it got a man killed so any doctrine that does not give life how do we get life the Bible says the Bible to know Christ John, John 17 verse 3 to know Christ is life any religion that projects something outside of Christ that produces a man to be honored above God my pastor says this my prophet says this and these people are not even vindicated by God we can see where the spirit comes Amen. Amen the Bible here is showing us the devil is so smooth with his line so in the end time Jesus even said 
Beware of false prophets. But our word today, when somebody says prophet, prophet so and so, just by saying prophet, they want to follow that man. But if you look at scripture, you will understand that the devil can use any title. And the devil uh, can take a man that is that has got no clue about spiritual things and make him, make him a, a great man in church so that he can pull away many people into a wrong thing leading the whole group to death when you read in the book of John chapter 3, we find a man. All right, let, 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 let's, let's read this. So we, we find in the last days, there are ignorant people. But the Bible has warned us that in the, in the end time, or at the harvest, this thing shall be. But we want to see what is this thing that is happening around the world. If you look at the world today, people are dressing less and less, especially women. You take it back in the Bible, you will find it. The first two people that fell in the garden when they did something wrong against the word of God, instead of them waiting for God and repenting uh, so that they can tell God that in your absence uh, this is what we did we fell into sin no that's not the nature of, of a fallen man so, when they realize that they are in sin instead of repenting they started hiding that sin they made themselves a covering something they can get underneath so that when God comes he should not see their nakedness and when God came and said to them, Where are you, Adam? Where are you? Adam and now guy. He said, I'm here. And I'm hiding. What said, Why are you hiding? He says, Because I, I realized that I was naked. Instead of him waiting or in the open and so that God can find him in that condition and then he can tell, just tell God what he has done he goes into hiding he, he, and he wants he wants to correct his wrong with something as a man made something they put together some leaves by the just like we see today instead of people coming out in the open there are many, many worshippers that know very well their lives are not right yet they are hiding under the name of a church I belong to such and such as if as if belonging to, to whatever church makes them righteous the problem is not the covering there the sin that is within and we see that same thing that was started by, with Adam it became a religion 
That's why church uniform started. Because there was no righteousness to cover. There was, there was no righteousness to show the world. So they had to find something that can associate with worship. Amen. But in trueness, you are a moderation. They know very well. But their lives are not right. And they are not ready for God. Maybe it's rough. But it's true. You cannot have a crop. If you cannot harvest if you've never planted. All forms of behavior, whether in religion, or in Christianity, or in just conduct, it has got a beginning. Amen. 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 So, the devil yale diabolo is not afraid of church the devil diabolo is not afraid of position but the true seat of god just like abel they take the correction of god now that we have shown the line of thinking what we want to talk about we may not finish the subject today but i want us to look at this kind this thinking uh, maybe in scripture uh, let's look at uh, the book of jude or jude all right uh, jude a book before the book of revelation uh, uh, Jude has got only one chapter. Uh, Alright, and I want us to read verse 11. Who unto them for they have gone in the way of Cain ran greedily after the heir of Balaam for reward and perished in the gain the heir of Balaam for reward and perished in the gain saying of Korah. Amen. Amen. Now, if you know your Bible, now if you would know that this man, they lived under different uh, dispensations. In their lifetime, there is no one who has seen the other. Cain, uh, you find him in the book of Genesis. He never got to see Korah. He never got to see Balaam. And then Balaam uh, is a false prophet. That stopped Israel when they were coming out of Egypt. But when the, this, the people of when the, the nation of Israel came uh, to meet with this man Biliam, Korah was already dead. Korah is the man who died in the wilderness. These are the men that formed a league against Moses. He was one of the rulers. This Korah. He was one of the leaders of the tribes of Israel. Biliam, Biliam, he was a prophet, a false prophet, a prophet of And the Bible links all these men together because it's a lineage. The spirit that was in Cain of being a worshiper, yet having a murderous spirit, a spirit that cannot take correction by the way. A spirit just wanted to occupy a position in the in, 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 in church. That is the spirit of Balaam. 
This same Balam, uh, Balam Yanao, is one of the elders. He is one of those men. When God called Moses, and they realized that God is using Moses, and they couldn't answer the people. When the people wanted to know where is Moses, instead of saying I don't know, and the Bible reads me. They, they, say, they, say, they had to form something to hate that one. They just wanted to give an answer. Oh, as of this Moses, we don't know what happened to him. All we know is that we need God to take us back. This is the spirit that will come into worship. And then Try to take people out of worship back into ancestral worship and like that. back into idols. That's the spirit of Balaam. He is the same one who set traps for the children of Israel so that they should worship uh, Baal Peor that's the same spirit that comes to churches and move people from the faith in God to make people believe in pastors and, and all sorts of things it is the same spirit of Cain but we will come and deal with these characters now, as we speak of these characters, you must look at the way you serve God and know who, who is your kind in the Bible. And look at your church look at your family and see the spirit that is leading that family. Who in the Bible is is, is, is serving God the way you do. Amen. Amen. I said we will go back and maybe start looking at these characters to see how this spirit, this seed grew from Cain through the years come to the priests until we come to this time. Because that spirit was planted in Genesis. And today, it is still there in worship. All these men that we talk about are in the way of worship. Jacob and Esau. Esau was a worshiper. When the blessings of God was good to be given, he wanted that. Ishmael was a worshiper. He also wanted the blessings of God. Yet he was not part of what God was doing. And today, people are reckless. But um, they just follow anything that is called church. But if you know the weight of God, your greatest danger. Uh, is sitting in worship. It's not outside there. Out there, we know the devil. So when you're out there, there's no need, there's no doubt. You are well in the devil's hands. But people that start going to church, they relax. Just because uh, maybe a minister is, is reading from the Bible. But when you check your scriptures, it was the scribes that, that, that crucified Jesus. So sitting in church is not safe. But we're talking about the harvest. We want to look at the spirit and the people that follows all the spirits and what became of them. Amen. I, I, want, I want us to go back to the book of Genesis. 
Uh, and I want to read in the book of Genesis 9. So that you can see that same spirit as, as it grew. Uh, somebody uh, who still wants to be called a Christian, who still wants to be called a worshiper, yet they, they are doing nothing Christ. Cain wanted to be a worshiper of God but did not want the, the, the correction of that God many people but sitting in Christianity in the message and outside of the message claiming Christianity but their lives are not lining up anywhere with the way but should you tell them they are not believers? They will be very upset with you. They just want this for a covering. But Christianity is a life. Now I want to show the seeds where the spirit came from. As we are looking at all this. The characters see where your spirit came from and see if you are happy with what you are today if you are happy with what you are there's no wrong with that but if you feel that you, you are doing injustice to yourself by living the life you are living then you need to change it because you are not living after your own kind. Let's look in Genesis chapter 9. And I want to read a verse 20. The same spirit, the same conduct, from Cain. And I said, this is not passed on naturally. Because it is out of Adam's family that you have the two, the two boys. It was in Isaac's family, the two sons of Isaac, that one of them, was of the devil it was in the same church uh, the disciples the, the church of jesus where one was the son of god one was the son of petition it was in the same worship you, you look throughout time so you can say i'm a pastor's son i'm a prophet's son that has got nothing so i see a money to do with what we are talking about that is why when you read in the book of Romans, Paul says it's not in all Israel that is Israel. Israel. It's not everything that says Lord, Lord. That is of the Lord. It has always been like that. The tears uh, and the weed. Le, uh, uh, weed. They drink from the same rain. But that does not change them. Each one remains what it is. The tears remains tears. Though it raises its hands, to thank you Lord for the rain. The weed remains as weed. Though it raises its hands, thank you Lord for the rain. So we have to look at what is going to be harvested. And I'm going to take the last character. Now, if you've been listening, you, you will notice that all along I'm speaking of the roots of denominationalism where this other type of worship came from worshiping God in a way that is not pleasing to God just using positions 
to qualify yourself or qualify it's a spirit gimoya i'm going to take the last character for today uh, what for uh, and then we'll see what the lord will help us do next time if they the next time uh, in the book of uh, genesis 9 and uh, i'll let to read uh, verse 20 and it reads as follows and Noah began to be a husband man and he planted a vineyard and he drank of the wine and was drunken and he was uncovered within his tent and Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told these two brethren without. And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went backward and their faces were back. Okay, and, and covered the nakedness of their father and their faces were backward and they saw not their father's nakedness and Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done unto him and he said cast be Canaan a servant of seven shall he be unto his brethren and he said blessed be the Lord God of Shem and Canaan shall be his servant God shall enlarge Japheth and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem and Canaan shall be his servant up to verse 27 bro. Yena are kanana kumuruhi kumuruhiwa utro wamu shanka wawa shanka baba na babo abusha are au jumi shemo na mudimu wa seme kanana utro wa mshanga wabona mudimu a tisha jafete adule misha shenga seme kanana abe mshanga wabona amen amen now yari after the the days of the flood Morawa, uh, we come to a character here uh, by the name of uh, Ham Amen. Amen one of the sons of Noah the Bible says uh, one day uh, Noah, Noah drank wine and then he undressed himself in the tent and then his youngest son Ham uh, saw his nakedness and went to tell his brothers now the reaction you can see that he, he, he said something because immediately after what he told them the Bible says they rose they didn't like what they had they, 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 they went uh, uh, and took uh, the Bible says they took uh, a cover yes a garment and they walked backward because they wanted to stop whatever that man was saying to them so they walked backward and they covered the nakedness of their father and when he had come to his senses the Bible says they told him he knew what his son did to him you see that, that spirit in Cain Cain did not respect God as the father the father of all creation and then you, you see how he responded to God alright now look at this man the same spirit that was on Cain was on this man 
He was a worshiper. That is why he survived. The flood. This man could have died in the flood. If he was not a worshiper. But he came through the ark. But when life moved on. These are people that can do righteousness to a point. It can come to church uh, to the altar and even give his offering. He was not just there, you know, with his hands folded. Watching even as he worshipped. These are the people that will pay their tithe and offering. But that we are so, does not change the nature of what we are. Amen. Amen. Now this man, he was not spiritual. All he knew was Noah or Noah was just a man. A father. He, 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 he saw Noah as his father. Yeah, a, a, a man that would maybe uh, bring food to the house. But he, he did not regard Noah as a servant of God. He did not see the grace uh, or he did not recognize the grace that God had put on that man to reveal to him the, the, the flood and also reveal to him uh, the way of escape. The Bible says that man found favor with God. There is Ham seeing uh, Noah just as an ordinary man was even able to make jokes out of that man. Make him mockery out of that man. Disrespecting the anointing of God on that man. You can see the same spirit where people have got leaders but disrespecting the favor of God that God has bestowed upon their leaders. Now look at what happens to this man. God was not happy with that man. And, and, and when that man realized what his son did to him, the anointing of God came down upon him. And he cursed, he cursed his own son. And that curse stayed. It was on that man and his lineage for always. Because why? This is that spirit. You read the Bible in the book of Hebrews 13. Maybe we'll read that. Let's, let's, let's read that in closing. These are people. Now you look at Korah. You look at Dathan. These are the men. That's all Moses. As an ordinary man. They would just make more career out of him. And they wanted to equal themselves. With that anointed man of God. But when that man spoke, that case stayed on their lives. That spirit is not dead. We've got people today that don't know how to honor the servants of God. Now, get me right. When I'm talking about honoring the servants of God, I'm not talking about worshipping them. I'm talking about giving giving them the honor they deserve. No one was wrong. 
You know what was wrong? A man will be a push to be naked in the tent. Or I don't know whether the tent was open or not. I did some more from wet and day. Let's say no was wrong. I didn't want to be a push. And sometimes, and in a way, God makes it such that maybe the weakness of a leader is so well displayed so that you can speak against that in a mockery way see every wrong has to be corrected but you have to correct it in a very respectful way now look at him look at him Look at what happened to him. His whole, his whole lineage became a lineage of servants. Because one, he failed to honor the messenger for his day. He failed to honor the man that received the revelation of his day. Cain re re failed to recognize the man with the revelation of the sacrifice of his day. The Pharisees they failed to recognize the man who had the revelation of the sacrifice in their day. And he said to them, If you don't believe that I'm he, you shall die in your sin. Amen. Amen. I was going to read a verse. Uh, I forgot what that verse was. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Or in the book of yes, Hebrews 13, verse 8. Thank you, my brother. Uh, uh, just Amen. to show you the scripture. Now, all these people that disrespect uh, they called their father in the Bible. And you must see what happened to their father. Then you will see their end. All these people that can not take correction. Are not the ones that are 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 we hear about the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast. There's a system. And God is the same. God will never mark a people unless they've met the conditions to be marked. Amen. Hebrews 13. Amen. Hebrews 13. Hebrews 13. So today was just an introduction of a thought I've just touched the surface if we want to talk about worship today in its entirety we, 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 we have to look at the system of the world how they worship God so that we can identify whose kind they are and we cannot justify uh, to have finished the subject until we show where the denominations come from whether they are of God or not because at the harvest it is the harvesting of that which was planted. And anybody that is under a denomination must have a desire to know what is the beginning of this form of worship. Even everybody that is outside of denomination should have a desire to identify where their form of worship comes from so that you know where your end is going to be because this is the harvest and God is coming to harvest his seed Amen, Amen. Hebrews chapter 13 uh, let's read verse 8 
All right, let's maybe uh, let's take it uh, a verse before that. Uh, verse seven. Verse seven. Remember them which have ruled over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow, uh, considering the end of their conversation. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hopolam baruti ba le na ba le ba. Amen. Hopolam baruti ba le na ba ba le budi chengu linchula mutimu. Lebone peloje ya tsela ya bona leje bona ka tumelo Kriste Jesu kwa mabani le wale khono mi itlo ba yena wane lening Since remember uh, remember them that have rule over you eh ere go polang ba ba le buditseng o ba ba le rutang your rulers eh ba ba bushi ba le Now this is not talking about your 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 kings ya le mo a re bolele ka ba goshi ba le That is this is talking to church. Yeah, Amen. So Amen. who who are the rulers in the church? Yeah, Lena Babushiki Bumanga Kriki. The Bible says look at them. And f- as you as you follow them, check the end. What is it that they are trying to produce? All admonishing the church. To honor those that have ruled over them. But on condition, mara on they look. Uh, if they follow it has to be Jesus Christ it's one it be Jesus Christ the same yesterday to be forever amen amen that is the condition to follow you know the condition is one jela tell no disrespect is being onyaja if you don't agree rosa du melani just don't stay oscar dula don't follow oscar tell but don't this don't disrespect mara oske wanyaja Amen. Amen. You can see the spirit moya uh, from the time of Genesis. Right up to our time. All right. I was going to read a scripture. Uh, uh, I think earlier on when we read in the book of uh, we talked about Nicodemus. Uh, if we didn't I, it was just in my thought. A ruler of the Jews. Uh, was he a king? No, he was not. He was a priest. Right? If you look in the book of uh, X where where Peter was saying more Peter we are ring when he, when he told taught uh, about the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ more we are lanka ko lebetse ya Jesus Christ the line la Jesus Christ he said to them we are more born i know that you were ignorant all the things that you said by crucifying our lord di lo kam ga tse di direleng ka o crucify mo rena wa rena it was because of your ignorance e be le ka ba ka la wa le sa la dishishi with also your rulers did the same thing le ba bushi ba le na ba di le se swana talking about their ministers bo ba bo le la ka ba ruti ba bona in the book of matthew 23 mo bo ke ya mateo ka bo le ya masipitaro jesus christ is also talking about rulers jesus christ to ba bo le la ka ba bushi that have taken over the seat of moses ba ba tsereng pe u ya moshe Situlo, oh, but here is Situlo Samoshe. Amen. Amen. So, 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 we, we, there's there's so much in religion. When I know you change in Chimo, but more rapidly. But all that seed, Marapeu, has become yeah. stronger. He, 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 So when you rebuke Cain, Reo Kalemela Kaine, Cain is not is not a man that looks down. I see man na yo lebela la mfaz. When he's been rebuked, Reo Reo Kalemwa. No, he looks God in the face. O lebela mudimu ka ka matho. And tells him off. Am mucha wa rai kwa. You see? Amen. If you look at a uh, ham, Reo Kalemela ham, who was not a man that was looking down. Even si man na yo lebela tim faz ka witho. If you look at Balaam, Reo lebela Balaam. If you look at Dathan, Reolebela le Dathan. If you look at Jude, uh, Judas, Reolebela le Judas. These are not humble people. Ba ase ba tshwa o ikoko be. Very very confidently wrong. Ba tsho ba ba tletseng ka ka o ba itshepa, ka o itshepa mara ba le phoshitse. And they are not afraid to challenge. And ga ba 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 afraid to go re ba ka totliwa. Paul says 
malepolo ore this is their downfall say ki the spirit in that is in them because they are not they are not they are not low down they are not humble it makes them feel that they are right and when you look at the the, the, the righteous seat when they see a humility to them it's weakness if God you now but you are about to say look at Moses when Koran doesn't came against him the Bible says he, he, he was the most humble man on earth and he never answered them he went to God and said God said bring them I want a showdown. That same spirit where people can take rebuke says, go and tell that prophet of yours. If he comes here, I'll tell him to his face. If Jesus ever asked me a question, I will ask him. Why did you say this in Matthew this and that? That is that nature of a spirit. That feel they can confront. In a very mockery and disrespect. The anointed of the Lord. The spirit Moya is here much stronger than before because this is harvester the spirit has matured it has got muscles now it can walk, it can move it's a sect, it's organized but for today let's stop here may the lord bless you as, as we pray dear heavenly father father of our lord jesus christ once more father we like to thank you for the opportunity you have given us almighty father to come before your face almighty god and to hear correction and to receive revelation father so that we can see and we can be able to discern the spirit that is now working in us Amen. and even around us so that we can identify whether we are of Christ or not Almighty God we like to thank you for your word that has come in this hour the spirit of revelation so that we may come out of this blindness of Laodicea Almighty Father yes, so that we may take your correction and accept to be rebuked by the Father of, all, of our spirits thank you Father as we have heard your word may we all look into our souls and our hearts and find if there's any place where we need to repent and it may be so father give us the grace to repent from all our of our our wrongs and our evil doing so father yes. help us almighty father to stay focused and stay in your way all this we trust and believe in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ we pray amen and amen, amen. god bless you saints amen, amen.